Look at this idiot. One ball and no brains. Escape. Anything else? Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything? Uh, well, look. More Star Wars news. Connect it with Game of Thrones. Apparently it's official. The first Star Wars film after Rise of Skywalker will be from Game of Thrones showrunners. Well, this shouldn't be too surprising uh, to people because this has been rumored for a while. And... There is even some release dates of the next three Star Wars movies um, <clears throat> that was put out. There's like another article about that, but uh, that's really not all that important. So most likely it's going to be the trilogy that, uh, that's that been rumored that they were going to be working on. And what is it going to be? Well, we don't know. Uh, it's been thought that they were going to do something that goes, uh, bef you know, in the ancient days before the uh, the Old Republic, but let's see what we've got here. We're going from Westeros to a galaxy far, far away. While speaking at the Moffat Nathan Blah 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 Summit today, Walt Disney Company Chairman Bob Iger confirmed that the next Star Wars film following The Rise of Skywalker will be from Game of Thrones showrunners. Uh, coming in 2022. So that is three years from now. We did a deal with them who are famous for Game of Thrones. And the next movie that we release will be theirs. And we're not saying anything more about that. They'll probably slowly kill off characters as the uh, film goes on. That would be my guess. During the summit, Iger discussed the future of the Star Wars franchise in both film and television. Currently, two Star Wars shows are in the works for the new streaming platform, Disney+, Plus, but the company is planning on waiting three years between the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and the next Star Wars film from uh, Benioff and Weiss. I, I'm saying that right. Iger said the break was a deliberate choice on the part of the company following the latest trilogy and two spin-off films, Solo and Rogue One. Rogue One was fine, and Solo was okay. But, you know, when you have the main trilogy and it's, well, I don't need to say anything. We already know. <laughs> we thought it would be smart for us to take a bit of a hiatus while we figure out what's next. Now we're not going to wait until Skywalker's released and start figuring it out. We're actually hard at work at doing that already. <laughs> they just couldn't leave it alone, could they? <clears throat> Yeah, let's just go ahead and, and throw those movies out without without a plan. The conclusion that we reached was that three years was the proper amount of time to not only take a breather and reset, but to really gear up for the next film's release. Well, if you're working on a film during that three years, you're not really on hiatus, are you? Now, I can understand if you're taking a break for three years and then started working on a movie, but that's not what you're doing. Anyway, last year Disney announced that uh, Benioff and Weiss would be writing and producing a new Star Wars series, which would be separate from the Skywalker saga. During his discussion, Iger only discussed the next movie, not a possible trilogy or series. So here's, what's, here's probably what's going to happen. They'll make one movie and keep it open-ended. That way, if, it do, if it's really successful... Then there'll be another movie. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Based on this here. Uh, this also leaves the future of Ryan Johnson's planned Star Wars trilogy uncertain. They shouldn't even give him a trilogy. Give him one movie. All right, let, let's just give him one movie to do on his own. What you know, outside of the Skywalker saga. Without those bonds in place, 
maybe it'll be a great Star Wars movie. But give him one. And if he screws up, well, then he doesn't get to do any more. Okay, I know what you're saying. You guys, you guys are saying, hey, look, he had The Last Jedi. He screwed up. Yeah, that's true. But he was also... He was also trying to do things that people wouldn't expect. Which I get. I understand that. But that was not the right movie to do it with. Now, if you want to put him in the Star Wars playground and and come up with his own characters and stuff where he's not messing with established characters, it could be interesting. So that's why I'm saying let him shoot himself in the foot. All right, give him one movie, and if it works and people like it, hey, you know, great. But if they don't, well, bye bye. We'll we'll never see you again, type of thing. Anyway, um, as far as the planned Star Wars trilogy for, trilogy from Ryan Johnson, it's like this is uncertain. Well, ask Ryan Johnson; he'll tell you it's certain. <laughs> Then there's the concern about Benioff and Weiss uh, will handle a Star Wars film or series, given the rising criticism about the final season of Game of Thrones, much of it centering around the writing and pace. The pair was also criticized after HBO announced they were starting a new series called Confederate, an alt-history saga that would explore life had the South had won the American Civil War. Hasn't this been done? Somehow, I've, I think I've read this somewhere before. Like, there was a show that was uh, exploring the possibilities of alternate realities. I don't mean uh, sliders. Uh, something else, but I can't remember what it was called. The project has been delayed, and its future is up in the air. Beanie Alpha and Weiss, uh, Star Wars film, is set to come out in 2022, with two more Star Wars films coming every other year through 2026. You could have shortened this uh, sentence right here. By just saying, uh, with two more Star Wars films coming in 2024 and 2026, you could have shortened this up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. They're set to alternate with James Cameron's planned Avatar sequels, which start in 2021 and are expected to continue every other year through 2027. Yeah, I saw a, I saw a roadmap on that, too, and my thought was, why? Why? Let, let's, you know, since we're so big in these uh, these sequel, why don't we do a sequel to Titanic while we're at it? I don't know. <laughs> we can do uh, Titanic through the eyes of, or from this perspective, or I don't know. This is just kind of silly. What do you guys think about this? Do you think uh, do you think this is going to be a good film? Think they'll do a good job? Um, are you happy with Game of Thrones or how it's been turning out? I personally, I don't watch the show. I don't really have any interest in it. I've never had any interest in it. But who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll, maybe they'll do something. I mean, without a doubt, their style is definitely going to have a different, uh, different look for Star Wars. That's for sure. Will it work? I don't know. Uh, that's like getting uh, Quentin Tarantino to do a Star Trek movie. That would be pretty different. Just like if he were to do a Star Wars movie. I bet that would be different too. But anyway, uh, let me know in the comments. And other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, hope, hope you'll subscribe for more notifications of content coming your way. And I will see you on the next rambling video.